I started out with a styrofoam base. Um, I just carved it out to be like a little hill shape. Turns out styrofoam sucks a lot. It gets stuck on your hands and it just doesn't come off. So would not recommend. I should probably throw away all of my styrofoam. But I probably won't. Yeah. So I made this smaller than the finished size that I wanted so that when I went to the next step, which was adding slop, um, that the finished volcano would be the size that I actually wanted. So slop is just a fun name. Um, it doesn't really stand for the things that's in it. That's just what I decided to call it because it's kind of goopy and slop's a fun name. So slop is sand, PVA glue, and paint. And I just mixed it all up in a cup and slapped it on. If it's a little bit too dry, it doesn't stick super well, but you gotta just work it a little bit and it'll it'll go eventually. When the slop was dried, I carved out the styrofoam from underneath. Uh, I just used my finger to pick it away. And I was kind of careful not to go too far in some areas. They were a little bit thin, but that actually helped me later. Also, did I mention I hate styrofoam? So in those weak spots, I cut these little channels for like a lava flow to come. Um, in some of the areas it wasn't very thin, but like aesthetically it looked really good to have lava there. So I used a wire cutter to just kind of break it. Um, for the larger lava flows, I actually snipped out a chunk. But for some like smaller little things, I just want like a little bit of light to come out basically. I just did one cut and that break kind of gave it a cool pattern and also would let a little bit of light through. I filled the cracks with hot glue as I made them. That way the overall shape would stay together and I wouldn't have to like try hold seven pieces together and have a mess while I'm working with hot glue. Um, the glue is clear at first, but when it dries or hardens, it turns translucent, which is really good for diffusing the light. I made some smoke from cotton balls, nothing too crazy, but I went pretty heavy on the black paint since I wanted it very smoky and not like a jet of fire. After that, I glued a piece of plastic to the bottom of the volcano to keep epoxy from filling in that cavity. I really wanted that cavity there so that I could put LEDs in it afterward. And then I poured the epoxy. And it went well. Until it didn't. There's these giant bubbles that started coming out, uh, which I did not expect, but it makes sense. Uh, there's cotton in there and it would take a long time for the epoxy to soak into the cotton, so slowly as that happened, these giant bubbles were coming out. It was really weird and a little bit cool. Um, but for future, I would not recommend pouring epoxy around cotton, or cotton balls in particular. So I noticed there was a lot of bubbles, but I figured, you know, in the past it took four hours probably for the epoxy to actually harden and at that point it was still a little gooey so I'd be able to like pop any bubbles on the top, maybe take a torch to it, um, burn off the bubbles or like make them pop. So after a few hours I came back and there was these giant bubbles on the surface like okay that's not okay so I nearly need to pop these so I pulled out the torch and promptly lit it on fire. Yeah, that's not what I expected. So it turns out the resin was all basically hardened already. I think this is because it was an endothermic reaction and also that the reaction produces heat. So as it produces heat, that triggers it to go faster, which makes more heat. So that's my theory. I haven't really looked into it too much other than knowing that it produced heat and I'm pretty sure it's endothermic. So anyway, I think in the past my pores have been pretty skinny, um, not a solid cube, so having it more condensed together, one bigger piece, it built up 
steam faster, I guess. So the bubbles were there to stay. I did take some of the extra epoxy, which was not hardened since it was just a little bit in the bottom of my cup. And I poured that in and filled in some of the dips from the bubbles and also it looked like the epoxy had um, contracted as it hardened, leaving some weird dips around the edges. And then I just let that harden. After it was hardened, I pulled it out of the mold and I noticed this giant stream of bubbles. So it really looks like a cavity like broke open and just released a whole bunch of bubbles that got stuck. So I looked into pretending that it was a underwater volcano, but no. Instead of smoke, these things got more steam and there's still no giant bubbles. So, oops. I'll just have to learn from this and hopefully not make this mistake again. Figure out how to not have so many bubbles in my resin pores. I rigged up the lights though and it still looks pretty cool. As long as you don't look at the bubbly side. And you're, you know, dazzled by lights and don't care about bubbles. this video please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this with that I'll see you in the future